Hi, and welcome to my channel in this video. For those of you who are new here, people call me M, and I identify as I wise. My mission with this channel is to educate the world on everything aromantic and asexual. The topic of today's video is how I deal with internalized aphobia. Internalized aphobia is different for everyone, and people deal with it in different ways. In this video, I want to tell you about my own experiences to hopefully help someone feel less alone and alienated in their feelings. When I am having a day when I feel super down about myself, I call it having an airways day, since it's a day when I hate myself for not being able to feel romantic and sexual attraction. During that time, I feel super lonely, have a general sense of self-hate, and I'm pretty self-destructive. I do stuff that I know will make me feel worse, like watching romantic movies, isolate myself, and don't take care of my basic needs. Different things can set off an airways day. It could be a movie, a dream slash daydream, or just a realization that I might lose my friends as they get into romantic relationships and move on. Once I realize that a day is an airways day, I have to make sure I don't fall into the traps of self-destruction. I have a water bottle with me at all times, I set alarms or ask a friend to remind me to eat, and take a shower if I'm able to. Beyond self-care, I also try to immerse myself in the airways community in different ways. This could be something as simple as wearing my arrow and ace rings, or watching arrow and or ace creators. Music helps me get through a lot of things, so songs like Never Been In Love by Will J and A Bitter Lullaby by Martin Almgreen tend to be put on repeat. Another thing that might help is talking to the friends that I do have. It helps me remember that I am not alone. It is, however, a double-edged sword, as they are online friends who live far away, and it might just make me feel more alone than before. I really want to end this video on a positive note, and promise that everything will get better once you accept yourself. But I don't feel like I can. Don't get me wrong, I am absolutely positive that it will get better at some point. But the reality of it is that I still struggle. Despite having known that I am on the spectrum for 4 years, and having moved on to accept I am airways over a year ago, I still t have these days pretty often. Having grown up in a world where getting into a romantic relationship of any form is the norm, not being able to do that gets very lonely. And having to reprogram your brain to not start pretending to be romantically interested in random people to be more normal takes time. In the end, you always gotta do what is right for you, and once we get to the other side of this, I'm sure it will all get better. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you the next time. Bye!